And then I need two more things. So one of my dogs got problems with her eyes. So I have an eye cleaner. And the other one got problems with her ears. So I have ear cleaners. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So I have these boxes. Here I have the stuff that I need for this. <coughs> this cutie cutie box from Curver. Um, I keep these um, like safety q-tips so you don't have to worry about hurting your dog's ear and I just um, apply a little bit of this liquid to the q-tips and then clean her ears <coughs> and uh, to clean the other dog's eyes I have another box uh, in which I keep these cotton balls and uh, in this box, I keep cotton pads, so these cosmetics pads, normal ones, to clean the eyes and whatever needs to be cleaned. <coughs> so, these things fit fine in here. have everything, what I need, and... Um, here in the back, I just keep some more shampoo <coughs> and um, yeah, to prove the water temperature. I have this thing here. Uh, here in the front, there is a bag dispenser um, where you can put dirt things in, but I usually don't use it. It's this bag here, too expensive to replace. <coughs> Sorry, I'm not really in a good shape today. Next thing I have, and I keep this extra, are uh, the things I use if uh, my dogs have little guests. So I have the front line spray. Tr uh, several times I tried the spot on um, things that you put in the neck, but they were so aggressive that hair was falling out. And uh, I remember that one time the vet told me to. Um, when they were puppies, just to take this spray, spray it on my hands um, and then, you know, rub it over their body uh, so they would have only very little all over and this worked very well so I remember this and then I bought it again and I never had any problems with irritations I have to say that I don't use it as often as it's written on this bottle I only use it if I find something and before I give them a bath, um, so yeah, very very seldom because it's chemical and um, I try not to use as much as they tell. <coughs> and before I use it, I found this thing, um, and this is an uh, organic natural spray that is always used for removing ticks, but I found out. Um, that it's always that it's also working for other little creatures <coughs> like fleas and things so I tried it and I have to be honest it doesn't work as well as the frontline spray but if there is only very little it's worth to try it so these are these things and then I always have some wet wipes and uh, some tissues that I put maybe under my dogs if I cut their hair so I can collect it. Here I have an old scale. This is actually the scale that I was weight with when I was a baby. And uh, it has this baby top. So it's, it's a kitchen scale, but if you have this plastic top babies you can also use it with a blanket to weigh your dogs as I don't have to use it that often um, I put it some fun um, towel animal and their treat box on top because it's always ex um, very important to give your dogs some treats uh, after they had their brush so they will start to accept it easier and like it maybe even um, if I'm going traveling, I have this nice uh, 
little bag that I can put the most important supplies in and take it with me. And uh, yeah, on this side I keep my... Um, yeah, this is a diaper box where you put the dirty diapers in. But I found out that it works very well for like little exits in the house <coughs> when they were puppies and now even for their waist when I, you know, I cut it their hair and things or maybe cut it off some dirt so I can put that in here and it will, you know, <coughs> keep it safe and uh, smell free in the house and uh, this is now hard to show but here I keep this thing and the baby bath and I will put it out now and show you so I'll see you in a second so now I open it up and put it the bath that was folded on top of it um, this little wagon is made to carry your um, your dirty clothes in this you know these tubes and now I found out that these baby tube fits in exactly and um, it's such a foldable one uh, which is really good so it doesn't take a lot of place if it's not in use and I have this nice thing here to put it on top and I have a perfect reach to my dogs um, I sometimes put even some silicone mats down here so they will not you know flip in here and um, if I'm ready with it, I just take it out, put it over the toilet, and then open this little thing here, and water will flow out. So, I don't have any contact with the dog's dirty water, if they were really dirty from, you know, running around in the fields and so on. Um, it just goes directly into the toilet without any mess in the bathroom. It's easy to clean out, just <clears throat> give it another wash and then dry it and yeah this is a perfect way for me to to give a bath to my dogs with an easy reach they feel safe because I'm always close and uh, um, I just put it in front of the shower or bath so you can you know wash them with a shower head and if you don't have one I also use um, probably going to show you wait a second so sorry I wasn't prepared but uh, if you don't have the possibility to put it in front of your bath or shower you can even put it in front of your basin in the uh, in the toilet or so and you just attach this to the water and then this is a little shower head um, these things are made for like washing your hair if you don't want to wash it in the shower, you can't, maybe for camping and so, so this is a good thing, even for the dogs, so I used it several times. Uh, if you wonder that it's collapsing, this is because there is no water inside, so if there is water, it will be, you know, straight, I'm not doing this. <clears throat> but, anyway, this is a perfect system for me, how to bath my dogs, and, um, yeah. Uh, please tell me how you do it and uh, about how you like my system and um, yeah maybe it's a little bit too much for some of you or you don't have the place to have this grooming desk for the dogs but as I have to do it nearly daily uh, and I always had to put all these things out of a bag and then back again. I thought it's just perfect to have this little place where I can, you know, every time I need it, give them a brush and I might gonna show you one day um, my brushing routine, how I do it on my dogs. But now you know my supplies and the general way how I would do it and yeah. Hope you liked it and see you soon.